favorite. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and start. So in social studies today, we are we are going to be doing, again, reading maps. But um, Mrs. Fullington is not going to be teaching that today. Well, I do have to share our um, total, our last total, total uh, letter. So remember, yesterday we did author, right? Author's purpose. Well, not author's purpose. The author of the map, who creates the map. Remember? I remember. So today we do. We're we are doing our last letter. So let me present my screen over here so these guys can see it. Mm. All right, guys. So you should be seeing my last slide. It says legend on there. Can y'all see that legend? No. Let it load for a little bit because sometimes it's a little slow on sending it to y'all guys. Now, do you see it? No? What do you see, Clinton? Oh, unmute yourself, babe. I can see it now. Now you can see it. Okay, awesome. So right here is our last letter in total. Remember, total is title of a map. What was O? Operation. Almost. Orientation. Remember, north, south, east, west. That's, th that's going to tell us our or orientation, our cardinal directions. Then D is for date. Remember, make sure that the map has a date. Then we have A, which is author. That is a person who creates the map, just like a book. And now our last letter is L, legend. Well, now remember, we talked about it, that legend is the same thing as a map key. And remember when we created our bedroom map, we had a map key that we had to create the shapes for, right, for our bedroom. So if you look on the screen here, it says a map legend is often called the map key. It lists all the symbols. So what are those shapes? They are called symbols. Can y'all say symbols? symbols? So symbols used on a map that can help you read or interpret the, the symbols. Interpret means to understand. It's another fancy word for understand. So if we see here, we have our map legend. And it says we have a fountain, we have a park, we have the trees, and then the dotted lines are the trails, and the two solid lines are considered the sidewalk. So th that map legend is very, very important. So that tells us where everything is, so that way we can walk to certain places from point A to point B. So Mrs. Fullington wanted to go to the swimming pool, but I'm at the fountain. Which direction do I need to go? I need to go east. So where's the park? Or where did I say I was? I was at the fountain. So the fountain is the little, almost looks like a brown flower. Do you see it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, and then it says here that, um, so Mackenzie said I need to go east. Well, that's true, but that's not the first direction I need. Is it the first? Nope. I need to go north. I need to go. Do I need to go the opposite direction? North. Clinton, did you do you know which direction I need to go? I know south. Okay, go ahead, Clinton. Wow, you're exactly right. You need to. You need to go north and then and then what? North and then what else? It's container. If you say yes, a liquid always fills up its container. So I need to go north and if then south. If you say no, a liquid does not always fill up its north container. North and then south. Well, then it looks like I'm turning around. So, so Harlow, let's see if you know the answer. Tricky. Try to get. In order for this statement to be true and for me to color it. Say it again. So she's saying I need to go east, then north, 
and then west, I'm going to be turning around. So where's the brown flower? At the co top corner. Omar, which direction do you think I need to go? So down and then west? North. North? Christopher, go ahead and see. <laughs> uh -huh. Remember, use the compass rows we have on the board. Then I go east and then south. That's correct. So Christopher got it right. We go east. You can go east in that direction and then go south and then we can meet each other at the pool. But you can also go south and then east. Oh, you just said that? <laughs> I didn't hear you. But you can go those two directions so that way we can meet each other at the swimming pool. So at least this was a really good practice review, right? That we used our map. So yesterday in class, we actually got to practice a lot of this. So once we get back in the group of y'all coming to the school, we can practice a little more using a map because Miss Fullington has some pretty cool maps that we can use. Mm -hmm. All right, so with that being said, we are going to go ahead and watch. How many of y'all know Sid? He, I think he's off a of Disney Channel no, no, or Nickelodeon. Off, um, Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon, Sid. And so he does a lot of science stuff, but he also does some social studies stuff. And so we are going to watch Sid, and he's going to help us a little more with Max. Okay. Yes, you may get your jacket. So let's share this screen and we are going to go to Sid. All right. Does everybody see like they're watching like a YouTube video? It's a blank screen. If you can see it, give me a check mark when you can see it. Yes, I could see it. Okay, awesome. Jorge, can you see it yet? No. What what screen are you looking at, sweetie? Jorge, what screen are you looking at? I'm looking at the at the screen at the at the YouTube. Screen. Okay, so you're you're good. You're on it. Clinton, are you seeing it also? All right, Sebastian, are you seeing it? All right, so we can go ahead and start watching this video. So I'm gonna put on my earphones because it echoes in the classroom. I have it right here, babe. Oh, the door, I see. All right, we're gonna go ahead. It's an emergency, can it wait? Because you're gonna miss our video. You need to see it. You need to see it more. Yeah, go ahead, Carpet. You can. Time for school. Okay, it's time to find out whether my friends know what all the directions on a map are. Hey, Gabriella. Hi there, Sid. There are four main directions on a map. Are there any you know? Uh, yes. There's west. That's on the left. Oh, you're right. Thanks, Gabriella. You're welcome. Oh, there's Gerald. Hey, Gerald. Oh, yeah. Hi, Sid. Can you tell me what the direction on a map is called that points to the top? Oh, let's see. Uh, I think it's north. Yeah, way to go. Thanks, Sid. Bye. Bye, May. Yes? Can you tell me which direction on the map points right? Yes, I can. I think it's east, <laughs> right? Yeah, that's the right answer. Good job, thanks. You're welcome, Sid. <laughs> okay, so Gabriella said that west was on the left, and Gerald said that north was at the top. May told us that east is on the right, and the direction at the bottom is south. 
Now you know the four points of the compass rose. Okay, time for class. Let's go learn about maps. So you already know the different points on the compass. North, south, east, west. Yeah! yeah. Do. Cool. Okay, scientists. Now we'll learn some other points that will help you read the map. What are those, Teacher Susie? Well, here's a map of our school playground. It shows the compass points you already know. These new points are located between the compass points. Northwest, between north and west. Northeast, between north and east. Southeast, between south and east. And what could be between south and west? Southwest? Very good. Now everyone knows the four new points. And now let's try to find our way around using a map. Teacher Susie? Yes. So the swings are in the southwest, right? Yes, Gabriella, that's exactly right. Oh, oh, so then the sandbox is, is in the southeast. Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that means the seesaw is in the northwest. Am I right? Exactly, Sid. You're all doing so well. Boy, reading a map is really a lot of fun. Now that you all know how to read a map, how about if you use all the compass points you know to help us find our way to the park? Oh, yeah! 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 And you can help us find our way to the park, too. North, south, east, west. We're going to the park, and that's the best. So, will somebody tell me which way to go? North, east. Perfect. And now which way? Oh, east. Very good, Gerald. What about now? Go north. Excellent, Gabrielle. Yay! Okay, your turn, Sid. Oh, northwest. That's right. Okay, we're almost there. What's the last direction? To the west. Oh, here's the park! Great job! You used the points of the compass to read the map! Yeah. <laughs> now that we're at the park, you all deserve to... Oh, play! Yeah. 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 Hey, thanks for helping us read the map to find the park! You catch me! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Got it! Alright, so that was like a little review of... Uh, how we uh, find each other on, like find places on the map. What was different that we learned today in Sid's video that we didn't learn here? Emery? She had a fancy compass rose. What did that fancy compass rose have that we haven't learned yet? Clinton? I don't want to do it. I was, uh, I was just going to tell you that my, my tooth that came out, it's growing back. Awesome. I, so you got one of your adult teeth coming in already? Uh-huh. Cool. All, matter takes All right, space. so back to our lesson. What was something different that we learned? We learned north, south, east, and west, but what did Sid's teacher teach us? Clinton raised his hand again. Clinton, do you remember? Thumb is up. You are north, correct. west, All east, west, wait, east, that is one of the things northeast, northeast, and then um, southeast, south east. and then who knows the other two? Space, west we east. Close. So we always use north and south as a as a main one. So if we were doing west, north, north and west, west, west West North. Try again. Flip it around. Always the same northwest. Northwest. And then if it was west and south. I see thumbs down. You're north. exactly right. The amount of north. south north. Nope, not quite. So when south if we're looking at west and south, south north. always comes first. So it's south west. So you're exactly right. So there are more cardinal directions that Sid's teacher taught us than the ones we have in, in, uh, in that we were taught in class. So, but we talked about north, south, east, and west, but we haven't talked about the ones in between those. So that was the new skill that we learned today, and we'll get to use those later on. So with that being said, we are going to go ahead and... Um, there are two 
activities for you to do in Seesaw for social studies. So I'm going to show you those. They're really cool. I think these are really fun because you actually can draw on the map and then you're going to give me directions by recording yourself. So it's it's like you're a reporter, just like Sid did in, in the video. So let me go ahead and present my screen so that way you, you can see it. Hold your questions. Hold on. All right. So right here in Seesaw, we have our first one. And on this first one, what you're going to do is um, you're creating a compass rose. So it says here, there's a lot of steps. You got to make sure that you do one through five to get it correct. Okay. So you do it just like a list, like a checklist. So number one says, what do we got to do? Add a response. So that's the first step. All right. Number two says, click the drawing tool or the pencil tool and draw one more item on the map. So when you're done with that, you're going to click three, the T. So it says add labels to the map and explain where items are located. So you're going to use the compass rows to help you with directions. One is done for you so that you have an example. All right. So number four says you're going to click the check mark when you're done with check one and then click the check mark one time because you're going to click it more than once. So when you're done with three, one through three, one through three, you're going to click the green check mark. Then you're going to continue. It says number five, if your microphone works, tap the microphone and tell about the location of the items on the map. So you're going to use direction words. So like right, left, up, or down. Okay. So when you're done with that, you're going to click the green check mark a second time. And when you're done with those two act those those um, this activity, you're gonna go to the next one. And so the next one looks like this. And we all know what this is. What is this? It's a compass rose. You're exactly right. So right here, what do you notice about this compass rose? What did it what does it do, what does it not have? Braxton, do you know what this compass rose doesn't have? Nope. Omar, do you want to share? It doesn't have the cardinal directions. Remember north, south, east, and west? It doesn't have those. So guess what your job's going to be? You're going to label them. But look right now, it actually has the new directions. Remember... Um, you have northeast, southeast, <laughs> southwest, and northwest. So remember, north and south always come first when you're doing those new directions. So what always comes first? North and south. North and south come always first. And then W, west, and east always follow. So the leaders are north and south, and the followers are west and east. So always label north and south first, then your west and east directions come second. Okay? So um, on this specific direction, it says, um, one, tap the add response. Three, tap the T to add labels to the compass rows. Remember, north, south, east, west. And number four, it says, Tap the microphone to tell about the directions on the compass, compass rose and why is it important to use this tool. So now you got to tell me, now you have to label north, south, east, west. Then you got to tell me why is it important that we use this. Okay. So that's all you're going to do, folks, for social studies. And then I will see you at 920 for directions about our spelling test and our um, spoon quiz. Okay. Remember the story spoon? Mrs. Fullington has attached the spoon story so you can use it on the test to help you find the answers. Okay. All right. I will see you at 920, guys. All right. Y'all may go into Seesaw.